This must be the place Agonon mentioned. This array. I can feel a magical aura similar to the Black Wardens.
ingenious boy, Lydia. It's a strange outsider. This is truly an unexpected miracle. Congratulations. You have witnessed the power of Apis's pioneering test subject and finally made your way to my study. What? You're... I am Archon Petrius, the true leader of Apis. Young stranger, you have surpassed all the features in both bravery and wisdom. You must be blessed by fate. Hang on, you're Petrius? I am a copy of Petrius's will. My existence represents all of his thoughts from 500 years ago. I don't really understand. Is this another starite power? The process and theory are much more complicated than that. But yes, essentially. I had to leave Erythus to pursue loftier goals. But I left part of myself here to continue to guide the people. Feel free to ask questions and I will quell your doubts. Since you're a copy of Petrius's will, do you know where the Archon Relic is? Yes, and having passed the test, it is there on the desk as your reward. The Relic! You're giving it to me just like that? Yes, you probably are aware that the secret is hidden within it. Now you are free to use it. Make the most of my aid, and do your best to keep up my new disciple. Hey, I don't want to be some disciple. Hang on a minute. That strange orb. Ugh, never mind. At least I found the relic. Huh? This painting. Petrius, Hypatia, and... Eranius. Sure looks a lot like someone I know. I'll have to talk to him later. I'll just take the relic for now. Child, 
The three praise you. How did you... Wait, where's Otto? He's fine. I have him in a safe place. But you won't be able to find him until after you've listened to my demands. I knew you were dangerous. You should come clean about who you really are, Uranus. I see. You must have seen the painting. I hadn't expected that, but it doesn't matter. I was going to reveal my identity sooner or later. I was once Petrius' assistant, his disciple, and a fellow prisoner. But we fell out long ago. Because of that, the other zealots regarded me as the enemy. I was only safe when I was in my cell. I don't care about that. What matters is that you deceive me. I... I didn't mean to hide anything from you. I just don't think you need to know all of the complexities of the situation. You've misjudged me and my understanding of the city. Now where's Otto? If you help me, I'll bring Otto back to you. I want to join your group. Those who ask you to find the relic, I want to work with them. I know what you want to do when you find the relic. You intend to remove Asterigos, do you not? You... It's an excellent idea. I, too, observe the capabilities of the relic, but I feared I wouldn't be able to do the research myself, so I've never put the experiment into practice. I'd abandoned all hope, but then you showed up, and you also understand what the relic can do. So, I want to help you. Hmm. I can't guarantee that the others will accept you. Damn it. Did you take Otto just to threaten me? Yes, child. I know, it's treacherous, but I thought it necessary for my negotiation. If you can guarantee my safety, and will work with me, I'll gladly tell you everything about Styx, including the whereabouts of Petrius. Hmm, even so... <gasps> What's that? My soul. You've seen the Black Wardens, so you should be able to understand why I'm doing this. Time and time again, Petrius crossed the line, and in the end, he trampled on my body and my mind. Now, I neither belong to the living nor the dead, and I'm unable to have a real existence. Uh... Take it and tell your leader everything I told you here. What I can give will be of great benefit to you. You'll come to understand that you need me. As for the boy, he still needs constant observation. I'll keep him safe for you. When you're ready, go to the Fallon Trail mission. Otto and I will be waiting. You're not giving me much of a choice. I don't have much of one myself. For me, the adherence may be the only place I can go. Hmm. You have questions, child?
damage has already been done, and I will do all I can to atone for my transgressions. However, with my knowledge of magic and theology, I can help you save Aphis. Don't lay the burden at my feet! An outsider like me shouldn't get to decide. Don't worry. If your leader has any sense, she won't refuse. Damn! Now I understand why you became a political prisoner. If anything happens to Otto, by the winds, I'll make you pay. Go ahead. My soul is in your hands. And don't forget to take the relic. I should bring this back to Minerva first. Hey, sweetie, what's up? this in the warden's cage at Styx. Even Archidios? Hmm. I should have known. He was working with Petrius? People always said his face would scare a prisoner to death. He was actually a devoted believer who went to the temple every week. He had no wife, no children, not even close family. 
He was always serious and would never crack a joke. But his zealous faith was widely known. If that's the case, it's only natural that he'd go with Petrius. Eumenides suspected the same, but we couldn't remove Agedios from his position because of Petrius alone. In the beginning, he didn't show any obvious preference, so we felt relieved. It must have been after Asteragos. Petrius probably persuaded Agedios to follow him in the name of the gods. It's easy to imagine Petrius playing on his fears and weaknesses. What a shame. The glory of the three. Please speak. You seem surprised to hear that the Nexus might shatter. How serious will it be if it does? The Nexus is a symbol of the spirit of Aethys. It's also the source of our magic. You could say that all of Aethys' glorious achievements are founded on the research and application. Of the Nexus. Without it, there'd have been no progress. Our lives could have turned out even more primitive and barbaric than those in Ambari. To lift the curse, we must run the risk of shattering the Nexus. If the curse isn't lifted, the Nexus is doomed. But please, keep this between us. The other factions knew we would never allow it. Andreas did leave us a way to repair the Nexus. Is something else worrying you? I... well... I just hope everything goes smoothly. There's something else. Have you heard of Petrius's Freethinker Scholars? Hmm... yes. But there are only a handful of them. I thought they might even be just a legend. Well, I came across them in the deeps. One of them told me that Tanrius was their founder. What? You mean they actually exist? Yes, and they're unwilling to do anything that would harm life. They're directly opposed to Petrius' approach to research. That goes along with what I've heard. It's remarkable. How did he manage to persuade them? Hmm. What? Hilda, I'm very interested in the knowledge that the scholars possess. I'd really like to talk to them. Perhaps I could send Bion to meet with them, if they're willing. Sounds good. Is there anything I can do? If you have time, you could ask if they'd be willing to meet. Outside the shelter, naturally. So, just meet with you? Yes. There's one more thing. Right? Aren't you worried I might go after him? I am. But you chose to come back and tell me. That shows me you're not planning to betray our agreement. And for that, I am grateful. <sighs> As my commander, he ordered me back to Ambari. He says a soldier shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I don't know what I should do. I want to stay here, of course. But if I stay too long, I'd be disobeying an order. If I wait until this is over, I could be severely punished. You've had plenty of opportunities to return, and I haven't stopped you. So, why are you still here? <sighs> because if I leave Aphis like this, I know I'll regret it. And why not be a hero? Not everyone has the chance to stand on such a glorious stage. However, I understand that you're struggling. There are times when I question myself, too. We all face choices. The important thing is that we don't have any regrets. <sighs> Thank you. Please speak. Time is of the essence. Welcome back, Hilda. Any news from Styx? Do you know Agonon? Or rather, Arrhenius? By the gods! I know Arrhenius. He's one of Petrius's henchmen. You've had dealings with them? Petrius is nowhere to be seen. I've only spoken to Arrhenius, but they seem to have had a big falling out over some disagreement. So Arrhenius wants to give his knowledge, maybe even his soul, to the adherents in exchange for shelter. His soul? He said that? Yes. 
Take a look at this black type. It sounds utterly absurd. I can't believe that he and Petrius would have had a falling out. He's very loyal to Petrius. If this isn't a trick, then what could have happened? But he is really the only person that can give me the details I need on Styx. He says he'll wait for your answer at the Fallon Trail mission. Hmm. I need to analyze this phylactite first. Before I do, could you get me some more information? Petrius' crazy disciples occupy most of the prison, and they're conducting experiments on prisoners. Really? It looks like Marble and Petrius made some kind of pact to maintain the balance through terror. Right. With no Warden and no Petrius in Sticks right now, all the prisoners and fanatics are free to do their own thing. The whole situation there is perfect for the Physicoi's crazy experiments. If it's not madmen and monsters roaming around, it's innocent people just waiting to be captured and experimented on. Are they also using Stardust? Not everyone needs it. Just like the Aetheris cultists, those Physicoi can transform people into monsters. See, it would appear we have no way of getting in there for now. We should be thankful that they have no plans to come out and attack the city. Or maybe the city's too small a target for them. I found the Archon Relic. Great. I was worried we'd have to negotiate with Petrius. I kind of did. I talked with some part of him in the deepest part of the prison. A part of him? It was like a weird ball of light. It spoke to me and claimed to be the will of Petrius from 500 years ago. Strange things, and they seemed to know what I wanted. It just gave me the Archon Relic without me even asking. Interesting. Honestly, it gave me the creeps. Me too. But I'm also curious to know just how far its magic has come. And Arrhenius's black type? What did the analysis show? I can't explain it very well. Still a few things I need to verify. I'll go to the mission with Bile. If Arrhenius accepts my conditions, then I'll allow him to come. Right now we lack manpower. The more intelligence, the better. At the very least, I should negotiate with him in person to determine the truth. Understood. Let me come with you. All right. Let's meet at the mission. Ask about Arrhenius' proposal. Go to the Fallon Trail mission when you're ready. Bion and I will meet you there. Hello. I brought back several rubbings from the deeps. Did you see them? Yes. Good work. However, it looks like we're going to need someone that can translate them. Hmm. Do those three think this physicoid from the deeps do it? Probably not. But I know you will. The goblins. You mean those outsider thieves? But how? They're familiar with many languages, including ancient Ephesian. Let's have them try. Apart from Tanrius, I can't think of anyone else who'd be able to translate. I don't know. I don't trust them. They are thieves, after all. That may be. But they also owe me a favor. So I don't think they'll be able to refuse. Well, I trust your judgment. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Time is of the essence.